Welcome to Math with Wong. Today, we're going to look at this particular question where they give you uh, two unknowns and you're asked to find the values of both the K and the N. This is one of the harder questions in binomial expansion. You have to understand that when you expand, what's happening with each of those first three terms that's given. Always write down the binomial theorem because that's your key to solving any question here. The first term is gonna be n choose zero. A, which we know, which is a one to the power of n minus zero. And B, which is Kx to the power of zero. Now it's not really gonna give you any information because one, n true zero, doesn't matter what the value of n is, it's always gonna equal to one. Here, one raised to the any power n is always gonna be one. And Kx raised to the power of zero is always gonna be one. So the first term is always gonna be one anyways. So it's not really helping here. Now let's look at second term. Second term is negative 12x. Now what happens in the second term? In the second term, now n is choosing one. Your a, which is one, is raised to the power of n minus one. And your second term, b, kx, is now raised to the power of one. Now if I expand the right-hand side, n choose one is just n. One raised to the power of n minus one is still one and k times x to the power one is kx. So what I have on the right is I'm gonna have n times k times x. Now, I'm gonna cross out the x because the coefficient negative 12 is gonna equal to n times k. And that's my first equation. n times k equal negative 12. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the third term. The third term is 60x squared. And this time is gonna to equal to n choose two times one to the power of n minus two and kx to the power of two. Now, this one requires a little bit of work because n choose two, according to the definition, is going to be n times n minus one over two factorial, which is just two. Um, this is one. This is going to be k square x square. And all that is going to equal to 60 x squared. Again, I'm gonna cancel the x squared because all I care about here is the coefficient. What I'm gonna get here is 60 is equal to n times n minus one over two k squared. Now I'm gonna bring the two to the other side to make this look a little nicer. And this is gonna be my second equation. Okay, so what's left is I need to solve this two equations and two unknown. How am I going to do that? I'm going to isolate the first equation. And I'm going to let k be negative 12 over n. And I'm going to substitute that into uh, the second equation. So what I'm gonna get is n times n minus one times k, which is negative 12 over n square, which equal to 120, okay? So I'm gonna have n times n minus one, negative 12 square is 144 over n square equal 120. I'm going to cancel one of the ends.
And I'm gonna bring this end to the other side. So here I'm getting 144N minus 144 equal 120N. So bring all the ends to one side and subtract, I get 24N equal 144. 144 divided by 24 is gonna give you six. So therefore, the value of N is equal to six. What about the value of K? K is equal to negative 12 divided by N. So if N is equal to six, K is gonna equal to negative two. So therefore, N equals six and K equal negative two in this particular expansion. The key here is understanding how to use the binomial theorem. Understanding the first term is n choose zero. Second term is n choose one. And the third term is n choose two. Setting them up and figure out the coefficients must equal to each other so that you have two equations and two unknowns. By setting that up and solving for the answer, you can find the value of n and k respectively. Thank you for watching.